Let me introduce you to version 0.1 of Mongo Modeler, a document database diagram editor, which is free, open source, and online. Shall we take a tour? Enter mongomodeler.com and click on Launch MongoDB Designer. Here you see a toolbar with actions and an empty canvas for you to get to work. To see how it works, let's model a part of the sample database offered by the guys at MongoDB, Enflix. Let's start with the movie collection. Let's click on Add Collection. Let's indicate the name of the collection, Movies, and let's start adding field. We already have the ID field. Let's click here on Plus, and we will add the title field. that is of type string, a gr, that will be a number, an int, the plot of the movies, that will be a type string, the directors, which is an array of strings, and you mark this in the checkbox is array. Now the IMDB, the cinema ranking portal of IMDB for that movie, which is an object. When you choose this object, you can see that we get this new icon. This will let us add the child fields. So inside IMDB, we will add rating, type uh, double, then votes, it will be an int, and id. We assume that this id comes from IMDB, and it will be of type string. OK, IMDB completed. Now it's time to add a field for the Rotten Tomatoes portal. So we got, we add a field called tomatoes, and we will mark this as an object, and we can just add subfields to this field. In this case, uh, we will have the viewer information, and in this case, it will be an object. So we got an object inside an object. And here, we will add a rating field, that will be a double, and number of reviews. Num reviews that it will be an integer. And these tomatoes will have viewer and another field that we will call last updated. The date of the last update and it will be of type date. Okay, there we go. If we click on Apply, we can see the collection displayed in our canvas. Let's go for the next collection, the comments. Click on Add Collection. Let's name this Comments. Let's add a name field, string, then an email, a string, a movie ID that will be of type object ID, a, a text, and a date. Here, type date. Let's apply. Here we got the two collection. And now, for reference, you can add a relationship between the comments and the movie. So, let's click on Add Relation. Let's choose that it will be of type one to many. Or in collection will be a uh, movies. The field will be ID. Destination collection will be comments. And the field will be movie ID. Now we click on apply and we can see that the collection relationship has been applied. You can save this work by clicking on save. 
for instance, my diagram, you can type this. Uh, if, you have, if you have a modern browser, a dialog appears to save the file. It's very similar to what you see in the desktop apl application. If you want to share the diagram or include it in a documentation file, you can export the diagram to both SVG and PNG formats. You can click on export, choose SVG, export, and you will get here the diagram. This is version 0.1. We hope to publish version 0.9 in a few months, which will resolve important issues such as accessibility. But for now, you can start using this tool. Let us know if you have any feedback on this project. We really appreciate your support.